took my tick. Ah! Bad summer camp memories. Ah! Wanna weep? My scalp was a 24 hour bloodsucker buffet. Name's Shigo. She's wanted in 11 countries. Make that 12. So not your type. Ugh. I don't know what it's like in there. It's a meeting of the Lifetime Losers Club. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, I've been in detention. Huh. Ooh, is it fruit flavor? Ah! Elastic constricting agents. <laughs> my compact, I've been looking for this. What's that do? It's a small mirror that allows me to check my face. Come on, Ron, let's jet. <gasps> Why not otters? I wouldn't mind dropping into a tank of otters. They're fun. Imagine the possibilities. That time at last. Okay, so we're definitely putting this guy in the mad scientist category. Mad angry or mad crazy? <laughs> Remote control lasers, I'll handle this. I got nothing. Kim? Don't worry, KP. We are out of here. I'm doomed. Denied! What makes you think we're safe in here? I don't think we're safe anywhere. But chases make me hungry. Chimarito? No, thanks. I'm trying to focus on the thing on my nose that's gonna blow me up! Get wait on the communicator! There's gotta be a way to get this thing off! Allow me! Ron, give your house, Kim! <laughs> Wade wants to know how you're doing, Kim! Fair! Fair. We gotta get the nanotech to let go. Ugh, there must be some way to burn the circuits. This calls for the most dangerous chemical known to modern man. Diablo sauce, stat! Make nice later. Right now, let's flick this tick. See? Easy. Yeah, that's right. You squeal all you want. I got you. Almost there. The tick is in the straw. The tick is in the straw. The tick is in the straw. What do I do? What do I do? Kim, I'm snow blind. Ron, you're supposed to be looking for signs of dragon. Okay, that looks suspicious to me. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Here I come, KP. <laughs> Kim, never work where you food. It's the only way. The rents were totally neg on just buying me the jacket. Did you try the puppy dog pout? No effect. If I want the jacket, I have to earn it. Harsh. What are you eating? Taco meets nacho. I call it the naco. I call it gross beyond reason. When can you start? Born ready, sir. And you? Me what? Isn't this your application, Mr. Uh, Stoppable? What? I didn't... You didn't. It'll be more fun if we both work here. I'm gonna get you for this. Two weeks to jacket, two weeks to jacket. Playing video games on the job is not SOP. I'm docking your pay an hour. Two weeks and one hour to jacket. <laughs> Beat goes over here, chicken over. Multitasking? Excellent, stoppable. Just doing my job, Ned. Hello, Kim to Ron. You didn't even want this job. I didn't know what I wanted, Kim. I was lost, adrift in the wilderness. But that was then. Now, I belong. I belong to Bueno Nacho. Yo amo este lugar! Draken, nachos. I'm gonna have to go with Draken. Well, that kind of tude is narrowing the race for employee of the month. The race is between you and you. Sometimes, Sometimes I, feel I feel like, like I, don't I don't even, even know, know you anymore. anymore. New boss. Corporate love the naco. Oh, really? They see big things in my futura. Good for you. Now let's go. Draken's in Wisconsin. But but your shift isn't over. Ron, an evil wacko is in the dairy state with a giant laser drill. I'm going. 
And I was hoping you'd come with. To be your sidekick? That's what this is all about, isn't it? You just can't stand that I'm better than you at something. Kim, we could argue all day, but that's not gonna get this floor mopped. Mop it yourself, boss. And find a new nacho drone. I quit. Yeah? Well, find a new sidekick. What are you looking at? I want that floor to sparkle. She needs help. Your help. Well, well, well. Looks like you've got a choice to make, Stoppable. What's more important, your sacred duty as assistant manager or your pathetic role as goofy sidekick? Well, that's no choice at all. I guess it's time to say, buenas noches, bueno nacho. Ron! Everything's okay, Kim. I'm here to save the day. Hi. Is that tie clip on? <laughs> Guess that wasn't much of a plan. Not as great as your Bueno Nacho bathroom break chart. I gooned on assistant manager power. You were right. I did resent your superior burrito technique. You're entitled to excel. Forgive me? Duh. Forgive me? Totally. Oh, that's so sweet. Friends again, just in time to be fried in magma. Remind me again why I rushed over? Rufus, this is a precision instrument, incredibly complex. Better mess with everything. Uh. Ah! Oh! Stop him! Angle adjustment. Hmm. Booyah! What's wrong, KP? You won. I'm very happy, really. You don't sound happy. Okay, I know this is beyond shallow, but I saved the world and I'm no closer to owning that club banana jacket. Maybe. Maybe not. <gasps> Ron! Oh, it's no big deal. My Nako bonus was way bueno. You are too sweet. I love it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, this is a setback. I've been complaining about him since, you know, forever. What's so bad about Cousin Larry? Do you have all night? It all started when we were three. Aunt June brought Cousin Larry over for a play date. Flash forward to family game night. Once a month, Larry comes over and I am stuck in Freakville. In the video games, last Get month out. I learned everything Ow. I never wanted to know about that stupid fortress game. Fortress? The other night I spent six hours battling the hilltop fortress with nothing but a joystick and a will that could not be denied. And to think that's time that you might have otherwise wasted. Kim, Ron. Hey, Wade. Wade? Wade? Live? In person? Hi. Hi. <laughs> ah, Wade's a ghost! Wade's a ghost! Ron, I am not a ghost. <laughs> Don't play me, Spectre. Nice place, KP. Come for the humidity, <gasps> stay for the leeches. Huh? A monkey temple. M -m 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 monkey. Oh, no. Well, see, it all goes back to Ron's first summer at Camp Wanaweep. He had to bunk with the camp mascot, Bobo the Chimp. <laughs> Oh, that was one crazy monkey. The Jade statue is here. What's the statue of? A monkey. <laughs> Come on. Maybe there's a back way in. Honestly, Ron, there's nothing to be afraid of. Kim! Ah! At least the walls are moving. Once again, cheerleading saved my life. <laughs> Spikes. Gee, where are the snakes? I was just being sarcastic! I'm telling you, Kim, he's bad road. I feel it. He has a royal title. Which you can buy on the internet. Go to sleep. <laughs> There's a monkey in camp. A live one. You're obsessed. Sleep. <laughs> the monkey! It's just a hooded ninja. Morning, honey. How'd Cambodia go? Mixed. The good part, I rescued a priceless icon from a ferociously snaky, spiky pit. Less good, a ninja stole it. Oh, isn't that just like those darn ninjas? So, now you know my secret, which you will take to your graves. How can you be so sure? I mean, a lot can happen in the next 60 or 70 years. 
Oh, gotcha. Monkey Kung Fu? <gasps> he was the ninja! Oh, can you play games with this? Ron was right! He is Bad Road! I don't know what to do. If I were there, I could help him, but... Give it to me. I have an idea. This isn't one of your stupid science fiction games, Larry! Ron's facing a kung fu mutant with bioengineered hands and mystical monkey powers and... Tear. <laughs> I must become that which I fear most. Hey, monkeys! Hit me! <laughs> Mystical monkey power is reserved for me and me alone! I must disagree. Ooh, 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 ooh. How about the debate team? Look, I'm not gonna argue with you, Kim. After school activities are great. Like cheer squad for me. Cheer squad? For me, not you. That's it! I'm a beat. I could do that! Do what? Cheerleader! Yeah! Go Metals! Woohoo! Honey, I'm as freaked out about this as you are, but there is no rule that says Ron can't try out. Check your calendar. This is not Befriend a Loser Week. Ron is not a loser. He's just... different. Hey, ladies, let's boogie! Oh, yeah. Mm. Ladies? Mm. They take a long time to get dressed. Oh, I'm not gonna be a cheerleader, KP. You're not? Great. I mean, um... Why not? Because I'm going to be the mascot! Middleton Mad Dog's fight! Row, row. <laughs> I'm impressed. And disturbed. Does it not rock hard? Check this out. Mad Dog booms at the man! Yeah, on. on. I know, Kim, I know. You believe in me and you'll work on them. Um, I... I kind of agree with Bonnie. Oh. Oh, I see. I have a problem. Frankly, uh, your mother has the good advice vis-a-vis -vis boy trouble. Oh, this isn't about a boy, it's about Ron. Oh, gotcha. Well, that's one person's opinion. One entire cheerleading squad's opinion. Well, maybe you and your squad just don't get it. You don't get it. Oh, I'm Kim Possible. I can do anything except believe in my best friend. Go, Wade. I've got a weird one. Me too. Ron! Sorry, can't hear you. Bad reception. <laughs> uh, Come off it, Ron. I know you're doing that yourself. What? I'm only hearing every other word. Ron, don't be a <laughs> baby. Kim, don't think I didn't hear that baby comment. I heard it. Ron? Thanks a lot. What did I do? Yeah. Those robots took Professor Ramish. Are you happy now? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy must be Professor Chen. <laughs> what? No way, that is not... Well, it is. It's Kim's dad. Oh, this is terrible. Mm-hmm. I mean, can you believe he actually wore his jacket that way with the sleeves pushed up? Totally 80s. <laughs> Kim's dad could be the next target. <sighs> Gotta tell Kim... <laughs> no, wait. We don't need Kim. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. Drew? Drew Lipsky? Is that you? No. He's Dr. Draken, and he's in for a world of hurt! So, Kim Possible is near. Oh, yes! Actually, no. The fact that I was so rotten to you, that's not gonna drive you to become some kind of mask-wearing villain, is it? If I said yes, would you let me do my mad dog routine? That's not a good reason for me to say yes. I know. Because you're my best friend, that's a good reason. Booyah! Mad Dog lives! Ow, ow, ow! Kimmy, why is Ron getting a haircut in our kitchen? Uh, because he ferociously needs one. Oh, I don't know. I do. I know what's best for Ron, even if he doesn't. 
Oh, that's much less embarrassing than a new haircut. By making me get the poofy haircut, you've disrupted my core. My identity, my essential rawness. New haircut! Ah! Unstoppable got a new haircut! Senior. Give it, Kim! <laughs> Seniors, um, hi. Do I know you? Uh, I, I'm Stop Ronable. Ron Stoppable. That's a very, very cool haircut, Ron Stoppable. Thanks. I'll see you later. Maybe. I mean, I mean, sure, yeah. Later. This haircut rocks! <gasps> Bonjour. <laughs> These people never seen hair before. Somebody's tweaked. I am not tweaked. <laughs> you reek tweak. <laughs> Bonjour. Okay, yes. And do you know why? Because I find it very... Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I find it very annoying that hair care products have become the center of the universe. Hair care products have always been the center of the universe. I just found out about it recently. Come on, look at all the chrome. You've got doors that go, that go whoosh. All I'm saying is that a guy could take over the world from a place like this. I mean, it really, it wouldn't take much. Maybe a communications jamming system, some missiles, probably throw in some traps, you know, self-activating lasers, an indoor lagoon full of piranha. Piranha? Why ever would I want piranha? To eat the good guys. I'd also think about a secret underground grotto with a speedboat for escape purposes. And, 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 and gigantic spinning tops of doom. They, they'd be huge, and they'd destroy anything in their path. Saved you some brain love, Kimmy. If I said the Ron trouble is rising, would you come back with a story about a psycho rat? No, but I might work in and I told you so. What's happening, Mama? Oh, hey, where were you last night? I paged and... Whoa! <laughs> what happened to you? Ron Stoppable has arrived. Amelia, babe, let's lunch. Okay. Oh, Pinky Joe. Oh. Yeah, I liked him that way too. Oh, good. Missiles. I am so glad you told him to get missiles. Oh, so I made a few suggestions. Does that make it my fault? 100%. My feisty hey, team. you put in a lagoon! The piranha won't be here till Monday. Oh man, I have a zit on my nose. Will you get over yourself? You do too, right there. Self-activating lasers! Throw in some traps. Hey, on the positive side, this guy is clearly a terrific listener. And your senior senior is really starting to get on my nerves. Should Pleather lose its sheen so quickly? <gasps> oh, you are gonna pay. You gotta be careful about what you say, Ron. I mean, one little thing. Like, you need a new hairstyle? Yeah. Like that. Sorry. You know what the worst thing is? Pleather doesn't breathe. Secret grotto in a speedboat. Great for escapes. You know, I am so not talking to anyone ever again. Come on, let's ace this place. What people saw was confidence. So I lose the haircut, keep the confidence, and I'm Chauncey. Hey, Amelia. We still on for after school? After school, with you. And do what? Geek out? But come on, it's it's me, it's, it's Ron. What, so I, so I ditched the do, it's what's inside that matters, right? Right? Like, who told you that, loser? You're, You're me? me? I'm, I'm you. you! Oh, this is so wrong. You think I can just let you stroll out with Draken's body? Don't even mess with me. You get... You got hit by Draken's machine, and you two switched! <laughs> oh, this is just too great! Oh, you say something. Come on. Bye-bye. As a board-certified neurosurgeon, I've got to say, it's just not possible to swap brains. Point taken, Dr. P. But how else do you explain my bare midriff? Ugh. We're stuck like this? All right, I'm gonna be popular! What are you and Ron gonna do? Until you find Draken and his machine, We'll just have to deal. What are you doing? Your hair, it's so flippy. Wade, hurry! <laughs> Think 
I'm getting the hang of this. And I dig this wardrobe. The breeze is quite refreshing. Hey, you can't do that. What did you say? Um, um, huh? <laughs> Lou's a freak. <laughs> you forgetting something? My money. What money? You sound funnier than usual, stoppable. Um, um. Puberty. Ah! Hi, Bonnie. You little freako! Ow! Don't forget those banners you promised to paint possible. Deadline's Monday. Kim, you are going to do something about your hair and makeup before the regionals? What? What about the font? The tutoring? The banners. Kim. 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 Tell me Wade found Draken. Oh, problems? Not really. No, no. I mean, how hard is it to be popular? You're finished, Kim Possible! But I'm Kim! Finish me! Oh, please, I know all about your little switcheroo buffoonish sidekick. Don't insult him. He's got it hard enough. Trust me. Me? You should try going through a day as Kim. The pressure's intense. <laughs> Whoa! Give me a break here! I'm wearing a skirt! Now you know what it's like! I can't believe this! Believe it, KP. They're cutting back on the beans. Ugh. I want a cheese bean ratio. <laughs> Ron, have you been listening to a word I've said? Bonnie has the nerve to challenge me after all I've done for the squad, after all I've done for her, I can't believe this! Close quote. Now, were you listening to my burrito problem? <laughs> hey! Yo ha, bro, huh? <laughs> what did you do to him? Stopwatch. Temporary paralysis. Standard procedure for anyone who comes within one meter of my person. Oh, poor Rufus. Uh, guys? Banned from every golf course in the world, even mini golf. For excessive displays of temper. Four! Guys? Weapon of choice? Exploding golf balls. <laughs> I do not believe that guy. He won't even consider that maybe somebody else deserves some credit. Maybe somebody else is as good as him. Maybe better. Yes! We should get back to Middleton. <laughs> you know, how hard is it to admit that somebody else is doing a great job? Seriously, Kim, we've got to get back. You've got that whole Bonnie thing. Oh, and Bonnie? When will she just give it up? The fundraiser, the uniforms, the new cheer. KP. You're right, Ron. we got to go. Gotta admit, you rock. Really? So... All in favor of Bonnie? All right, yeah! Bonnie! You counting on the fact that she'll only last a month? I give her two weeks tops. Ron. Oh, Ron. Ron! What? You should, uh, hold back until the competition. You know, pace yourself. Can't hold back, KP. The Mad Dog came to play. Yay! No. <laughs> Ron, you're already on thin ice with these girls. Okay, can you just try to be somewhat normal? Is there anyone who is not the boss of me? Can't be right. That can't be right! Ron! Oh. It, it's my, my, my worst nightmare! Return to camp, wanna weep! Stoppable. You know the lay of the land? Every rock, every tree, every bloodthirsty tick. It haunts me. Good. Where's the fun? Mom, hey, it's me again. Yeah, 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 I know I just called three minutes ago, but I just wanted to ask one more time. Can you please get me out of here? But you need to understand this. I am your only hope. What? Run, normal. Listen up, people. Camp Wanna Weep is a dangerous and wicked oh. place, and among us, only I, Ron Stoppable, know how to survive here. Poison Oak. How do I know? What's this plant? <laughs> Make the itching stop! This is a place of evil. Stay close, and you'll stay alive. Out of order. I don't like this. Place of evil. So not the drama, Tara. This isn't a horror movie. Oh, isn't it? It's just a squirrel. Just a squirrel? Really? Leave me alone. So you've always been a piece of work, unstoppable? They were bigger then. Sure you weren't just smaller. They were bigger. And then the woodpeckers came. Your freaky friend is acting extra freaky. He's not freaky, Bonnie. <gasps> <gasps> well, okay, he kind of is, but it's not his fault. It's the curse of Camp Wanna Weep. Ron, 
I think we've established that the squirrels mean us no harm. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just enjoy the campfire and relax. You know, Ron, I happen to think it's kind of nice here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Sure. I mean, the woods are, you know, woodsy. And, and well, just look at the lake. It seems so peaceful. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> lake Wanaweep. <laughs> How oh, I hated that lake. Oh, not another story. This very cabin, I was able to survive every evil Camp Wanaweep could throw at me. <gasps> Buddy, stay calm. I'm going to handle this. Here's the plan. Uh, excuse me. What? On the school bus, Barkin's in charge. When we're saving the world, you're in charge. But here at Camp Wanaweep, I'm in charge. Ron, this is serious. Hello? Note serious face. All part of my plan. The revenge against Ron Unstoppable. Part of me is terrified, and yet part of me is flattered. <laughs> Give it up, Ronnie. Not when I've got my old Cabin 13 escape tunnel handy. He is ditching us. That ditcher. Ron does not ditch. So, he ditched you. He did not ditch us, OK? He obviously found a motorboat, so he could, uh, totally ditch us. You can't win, Ronnie. This is my element. <laughs> and arts and crafts is my element. Hey, now, Rufus! <laughs> What's going on? You out of gas! <laughs> Free swim's over. Thanks, <laughs> Lily Rod! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. What do you mean? Everything. You were awesome. Yeah. This is the one place where I know the score. Where Ron Stoppable knows what it takes to be the last camper standing. Yeah! Ron, the stuff you did. You were resourceful. You were brave. That doesn't have anything to do with this place. It's you. You think so? Mm-hmm. So on our next mission, I call the shots? Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know what that means. Animology assigns you a color and an animal. It's science, Kim. Thanks, but I have a life. It predicts your perfect mate. Tell me you don't want to know your perfect mate. Not if he's some blue baboon. Don't even joke, Kim. A blue baboon would be disastrous for you. Uh, I pass on the fad, Ron. I finished the animology test. Let me guess. Blue baboon? Worse. I'm a pink sloth, Kim. A pink sloth? Sloth! The lowest of the low! The pink sloth is an outcast, a follower, socially inept, and smells of overripe fruit. I do not smell of overripe fruit! You're right, KP. Animology is completely bogus. Bogus. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that. Because there is no way Ron Stoppable is a pink sloth. Kim, I have that info you wanted. Oh, no big. Just give it to me later. But you said it was the highest priority. You took the test? I'm a blue fox. I can't resist a challenge. The real shame is these little doggies will go to waste <laughs> unless somebody eats them. And soon. Ron Stoppable is no pink sloth. Whew, that's a relief. A pink sloth is supposed to be my soulmate. So Amelia, wait, I'm a textbook sloth. Outcast, follower, socially inept. I smell like corn dogs. This is democracy, people. Now do as I say. Let's hear some nominations. Huh? Mr. Barkin, from the great state of confusion, I am proud to nominate our next class president, Kim Possible. Done and done, KP. Ron, I wanted to run for class president, not class clown. Suit yourself. Clowns have more fun. Don't worry, KP. 
Rick Flagg may be the most popular jock in school, but you have something he doesn't. You've got Ron Stoppable as your campaign manager. Great. I got it all planned out, but we have to get started immediately because the possible campaign is way ahead of us. The possible campaign? You're my campaign manager. Yeah, about that. It's like a conflict of interest. Good luck, Kim. I'll just run my own campaign with less golfing. Pizza Potamus! No! Run! That Pizza Potamus! Come on, we don't have much time. Ron, they're in a helicopter. We'll never catch them. Who's talking about them? Bueno Nacho closes in three minutes. I'm starving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving. Use both sides of your feet. Here, I'll show you. Is she scaring you too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so glad I'm just the equipment. Equipment manager! <laughs> Blow these up. Hurry! Anyone could have steered a hot air balloon through gale force winds. I'm just glad Ron was around to serve as a ballast. This time, I'm staying inside the basket. The team wanted me to talk to you about your coaching technique. What about my coaching technique? Too much technique, not enough coach. What's that supposed to mean? They just want to have fun, Kim. Winning is fun, Ron. See? That's your Kimness talking. Well, I am Kim. It's just a game with small children who cry when they see you coming. Fine, we'll let the team decide when we get back. Senior Senior sounds like a certain soccer coach I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, does he have too much Kimness now too? Not exactly, I mean, he's just a control freak. You're, well, yeah, you are like, wow, that's weird. Going up. Come on, Kim, we've got to get inside. <laughs> Next time we come to the mall, let's stick to the main entrance, okay? Shopping steal! Okay, I'm in the mall and I'm not shopping. What's wrong with this picture? Wait, 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 wrestling is more than two guys beating on each other. It's also a war of words. You're going down! No, you're going down! No, you're going down! No, you're going down! Yeah, they're poets. Look, Club Banana's doing a tie-in with the museum's Cleopatra's Closet exhibit. That's where I'll be. Hello, civilization. These are backstage passes. You get to go backstage with backstage passes. Where the backstage is. And hang out with some guy named Steel Cage. Uh, KP, Steel Toe is a guy. Steel Cage is, well, a cage. You take them. You can't just give them away. Do you know what these are worth? <laughs> okay, you can give them to me. You'd rather see some dead queen's clothes than watch Steel Toe's Night of a Hundred Bruises with me? My answer would have to be, hello, yeah. See ya. Cleopatra. Like anybody's gonna remember her 10 years from now. Right after I hooked up with Monique, the museum was robbed by some glowing headed animal guy. Well, that's nice. Wait a minute, who's Monique? New friend. Really great. Anyway, the thief stole an enchanted ancient talisman. Whoa, whoa, back up. How can I not know about a new friend? I met her at Club Banana, then again at the museum, <laughs> before I chased the glowing robber. So what's she like? The robber? The friend, Kim, the new friend. Okay, okay. Well, why don't we hit Bueno Nacho and you can fill me in? No thanks. Monique and I stopped for smoothies on the way home. <gasps> in a pattern here, Rufus. Kim does her thing, I do my thing, and pretty soon, we're doing different things. <laughs> Uh -oh. Maybe I'm just blowing this whole Monique thing out of proportion. I'll bet tomorrow everything's back to normal. And then once, I was saving this desert prince from some stupid death squad, and the back of my skirt was totally caught in my underwear. The whole time! No way. I could have died. He almost did. Hello, ladies. Ron, what are you doing here? Well, can I dine with my best friend and her new friend? Uh, Ron, Monique, and vice versa. So, did Kim tell you that I'm her sidekick? Because that role's definitely taken by me. Right. 
What is your problem? You're acting really weird. Well, let's see. You went to the museum with Monique, not me. Monique was with you this morning, not me. Hmm, pattern? Yeah, you. Weird? No, we're drifting apart because you're excluding me. I am not excluding you. It's just that you and Monique are different. Oh, now you're gonna tell me that sometimes growing up means growing apart. I've heard it before, Kim. You are so blowing this out of proportion. Okay, maybe I am. Ooh, don't forget, Mayhem in Middleton tonight! Those tickets are for you. I kind of already made plans with, uh, Monique. <laughs> First, I lose my best friend. Now professional wrestling! Everything's ruined! You didn't lose your best friend. KP? And don't worry, we're gonna save this... this... would you call it a sport? The most excellent one ever. Let's take him down. I tag team with you any day, KP. This'll be easy. <laughs> Ron! <gasps> you go. Ouch! No, duh. Kim! You distract him. I'll go for the talisman. Distraction. Solid. You know, I still can't believe you met Pain King and Steel Toe. I can't believe you're into wrestling. I can't believe I know either one of you. Enough talk. In the immortal words of Pain King, you're going down. Oh, contraire. It is you who will be going down. First one to drip is a loser. Better get your bib, baby. So wrong. <laughs> Go! I think this is the beginning of a very weird friendship. Never be normal. That's the Ron Stoppable motto. Kim? KP? Kim Bossible? Oh, Josh Mankey. <laughs> Amp down, Kim. Someone might think you're crushing on Mankey. <laughs> Mankey. <laughs> huh, Kim? What's this say to you? Oh, it's, it's, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, totally. Uh I can't even form a sentence around Josh. How am I gonna ask him to Friday's dance? Ask Mankey? I don't know, Kim. Don't you think he might feel awkward with us? Us? Well, we always go together. Yeah, but that says, you know, friends. And this time I was thinking about lining up a, you know... An enemy? A date. A date. Right. Date, like a dating. Dating in a date-like kind of way. Uh-huh. I could do that. The date thing. Great. So who are you going to ask? For me to get a date? Who am I not gonna ask? Yeah, but that says, you know, friends, and this time I was thinking about lining up a, you know... An enemy? A date. A date. Right. Date, like, a dating. Dating in a date-like kind of way. Uh-huh. I could do that. The date thing. Great. So, who are you going to ask? For me to get a date? Who am I not gonna ask? Hey, long distance. Tokyo! I love the French! Who could scare you? His name's Josh Mankey. Oh, crush story. I feel so ridiculous around him. Just go for it. What's the worst thing that could happen? So, Bratina. As a pop superstar, I'll bet you miss out on stuff like school dances with, you know, normal, average guys. True. Friday. Dance. You. Me. Average guy. No. See? Was that so hard? Only to watch. Thank you for coming, Kim Possible. I am Yoshiko, translator for Nakasumi-san. You know, I'm looking for a lucky someone to go to a dance with me. Uh, Nakasumi-san says he's very flattered, but given the current crisis, uh, he feels it would be inappropriate to go to the dance. No! Ew, no! I meant... So what's the sitch? Okay, I'm golden. Oh, are you kidding me? Very funny. The third time's the charm. Whatever. Kim, Draken's in the house. Is this really the time to fix your makeup? I see the hostages. <gasps> oh, no. What? Thought I saw a zit. False alarm. The Rufus and Ron Show! <laughs> You're cancelled. <laughs> Ron, Kim Possible! <laughs> I remember. Josh is this guy I want to take to the dance. Oh. Now, don't you and your friend Ronald usually go to school functions together? Yeah, but Ron's a friend and Josh is a hottie. <laughs> I wouldn't just give up without a fight. With Draken, I mean. 
Hi, I'm Ron Stop. Ow! Josh will come through that door any minute and I'll just spit it out. This arm is going to dance on Friday. Who wants to be on it? How about this arm? Gonna ask him to the dance? Why? I think it's great. Really? Totally. I get to see you crash and burn. Maybe he'll say yes. Maybe. But he has said no to girls much higher on the food chain than you. Well, I'm gonna ask him anyway. Go for it. I will. After practice. Attention, ladies! It is I, Ron Stoppable. Contrary to popular belief, I am not dating Kim Possible. Which is good news for you, Josh Mankey. Hey. Oh, no. There is a rare hole in my social calendar for this Friday. Please note, I am a Bond diggity dancer. Thank you. <laughs> Mankey has rejected invitations to the Spirit Week dance from the following. Courtney Luke, Maria Rodriguez, Natasha Putin, Julia Roberts, no relation, and of course, Bonnie Rockwaller. No current photo was available. Josh spiked Bonnie? And Bonnie spiked me, as did Courtney, Maria, Natasha, and Julia. High school. Oh, Heinrich, got any teenage daughters who might want to go to a big American dance party? Nine! Nine? One's plenty. Well, maybe two. If you can defeat an international super freak, you can handle Josh Mank. Kim, he just left third period and he's headed your way. <gasps> Okay, I think you've crossed the line here. I can't do it. Target is on the move. Closing in. Four, three, two. He's on top of you. Maybe I just give up. I repeat, you can handle this. Maybe you'll be there? Maybe with me? Are you what? Asking me to the dance? I know, I know I sound so random, but yes. Yes, I am. Cool. Very. So I'll come by around seven. I need a ride too. Possible? Yeah, and actually, you know what? I've got nothing to add to that. I don't have anything to add here either. An exploded golf ball! Oh! Freestyle! Everything okay, Kim? You seem kind of stressed. Kim! <gasps> oh, you did that on purpose! Now who's paranoid, Bonnie? It was an accident. <laughs> oh, I owe you one. Ah, it was nothing. Find your snow monster? Mm -mm. Shh! How much do you know? <laughs> what was that one you would never let me wash? I don't... I... Pandaroo, that's it. You still sleep with that little guy, don't you? Oh, so cute, little Pandaroo. <laughs> Kim? Bonnie knows about Pandaroo. Hope is lost. That's harsh. Can I borrow the communicator? Your concern touches me. Hey, try searching the Cuddle Buddy website. They profile all major cuddlers. Uh, collectors. How'd you know that? I logged on a few times, okay? They're a good investment. Good call, Kim. She's a biogeneticist? An out-of-control geneticist. I should have paid more attention to Ron's crazed snowbeast talk. Let them go, DNA mural! And a Roo? Superstar edition? They only made 12 of these. Thanks, KP. We gotta get Rufus back. And Mr. Barkett. Right, him too. <laughs> it's a story I'm writing for the school paper. Hard-hitting stuff. You're not on the paper, Ron. They keep turning you down. No offense. This is gonna turn them around. It's an edgy expose I call... Math. You'll never actually use it in the real world. Uh, I'm already working on a follow-up piece about semicolons. Your leader Kim Possible thinks quarterback Brick Flag is H-O-T hot by Ron Stoppable? We'll totally be here for you when he dumps you. So I think Brick Flag is hot? It's true. She just said it herself. Did you see it? My name in lights? Well, in ink, actually, but still. Ron, you ferociously misquoted me. Whoa. I may have done a tiny bit of rephrasing, but come on, you'd think a crime-fighting cheerleader would give a more interesting interview. No, 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 I, I mean, about Friday night? Uh, I'm just not sure if... If we should do dinner or a movie? I had the same debate, but then it hit me. Hot dogs at the theater. <gasps> Save me!
Kron, get over it already. Sorry, KP, but discovering that your action here was a big fake is not something you just get over. And this from a wrestling fan? I don't get the connection. Look out, Ron! <gasps> Kim! Playing games when poor Brick is hurtling towards his doom? <gasps> what kind of girlfriend are you? Let's see. What will I do next? Not so extreme after all now, are you? Are you? No! Let's jet. Sorry, Shigo, it's not that easy. Might as well just... <gasps> I'm gonna cut you off there. Help! Oh, no! Bye-bye, Kim Possible. So splat already. on Draken taking a major dive. <laughs> Out of control here! Hang on, I've got it! <laughs> what you got over there? What, what bag? The one you're trying to hide. No, you can't! Yes, I can! <gasps> oh, Ron, not you too. It's Kim for him. My look is now boys' clothes? <laughs> What's next? A line of clothes for pets? Actually, Rufus. No. No. Please, no. Ooh. I liked you better Ooh. naked. Sorry. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough problems. <gasps> Possible, you are such a loser. I mean, you wear that same stupid outfit like every day. Bunny? It's really you? Uh, oh, no one else would insult me like that. Ugh. Huh? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, sorry. I, I just, uh. Draken has total mind control power? <laughs> oh, man. Yet another take over the world thing. That, or he's gonna force people to listen to those stories about his twisted childhood. Then, in fourth grade, I developed a ray that allowed me to control rubber products. There's probably an entrance behind the falls. Thanks, Wade. Why are the entrances never just, you know, like a door? Okay, Ron. I'll infiltrate Draken's lair and get the chip. You keep an eye on the tweebs. Oh, sure. Give me the dangerous assignment. Oh, yes, I am. Kim, why are you dressed like Shigo? That is not important. Okay, so where's the chip? On her forehead! Dr. Draken will see you now. Hold my naked mole rat, boys. I'm going in. <laughs> Give me the Where's this hand go? Where's this hand go? You watching this hand? And this one go! <laughs> oh. Did you really think it would be that easy? Well, I hoped. Dr. Draken has ordered the capture of Ron Stoppable. He remembered my name. So, Kim Possible, you climbed down the waterfall and captured your very best friend. I like this mind control thing very much. Which door? Which door? Ah! Wrong door! I knew it couldn't be done. Are you sure the battery's in right? The plus goes with the plus thing, and the little slash goes with the other not plus. Nice outfit. <laughs> nice apron. He's a <gasps> monkey! Ah! Come play. No monkey touch! No monkey touch! No What's monkey his touch. problem? Long story short, Ron had a bad summer camp experience. He didn't get along with the monkey mascot. <laughs> Dad. There's my girl. You know, it doesn't get any better than this. Me, hmm. you, a deep connection. So, what's up? 
Um, I, I have to show Ron something. We're getting something on the spider cam. The what? The camera in the science bay monitoring the spider habitat. Ah! ah! Spiders! Get them off me! Get them off me! Ron? Dad, you have to turn that rocket around. It's okay. The spiders are harmless. Hello! Ron's hurtling into space with Lord Monkey Fist. That's Harm City. Ah, yes. Well, <clears throat> we can't turn it around. This is mission control, right? It was. That monkey man changed all systems to manual control. Then we have to go and get him. If well, if it isn't the boy who detests monkeys. Get your stinking paws off me, you filthy monkey. Ow! Now what? Kim! Why did you bring him? He's gotta be working with Monty Freak. Ron, Frederick risked his life to come. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Really? Hello, Ron. You came to help me? Frederick, friend. Monkey Fist, get a life. Oh. What? What the? Sorry. What the? What the? Oh. I hate the... Oh. Bring it on. <laughs> Frederick, now! Roger. <laughs> okay, I admit it. She's grown up. Not completely, Dad. True. Which means that we've got some new rules to cover. Number one, no boys. Ever. Number two, driving? <laughs> Forget it. Number three, Um, hello. Uh, this is a little embarrassing, but I must correct one thing in my last message. Apparently, some of us don't write very clearly. Anyway, when I said the leader of the Monkey Ninjas will be unstoppable, what I should have said was that the leader will be Ron-stoppable. My bad. Hope that didn't cause too much confusion. My dad said the question isn't, am I a man, it's what kind of man. And I gotta tell you, I'm just not sure. Well, that's easy. You're small and weak. Excuse me? Stoppable, the ideal man is big and or strong. You are neither. I get by. You get rescued by a girl. Sometimes. Frequently. Been looking everywhere for you, Ron. Hey, Mr. Barkin. Possible. Kim, how often would you say that you rescue me? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes. Mm, frequently. Mm, frequently? I don't like this. Me either. These questions they're asking. Manliness quiz? Ha! I meant the whole Henchko vibe. Okay, my manly score could not be that low. Kim, check my math. Ah! Come on. How are we doing? Been better. People, people. Ms. Possible is my guest. That's a good call, fellas, because, you know, I was primed to make my move. The hero and the sidekick. Classic. Here at Henchgo, we're building a better henchman. I'd like to think that we're performing a service for the community. The evil community? But sure, this guy runs a shady business, but, I mean, come on. That technology in Draken's hands? Good point. Okay, we're on it. Great! And this will be crucial to our investigation. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Can't see past my pecs. Ah, oh, well. Ron, what happened? Molecular muscle enhancer. See, I never would have guessed that. Take it off, Ron. <laughs> no way! I finally feel like a man. Muscles do not make a man. Mm -mm, you gotta dig deeper than that. Way deeper. So how did you know? The enhancer gives off a weird energy signature. Oh, yeah! Hey, Kim, what's an energy signature? Ron, you are here. Hey, you're the dot. The manly dot? He's where? At the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Resort. The manly resort? Ugh. Looking for this? Mm. The pan-dimensional vortex inducer! The pan-dimensional vortex inducer? What do the rings have to do with the pan-dimensional vortex inducer? Oh, oh. Use the power of the rings! Get that pan-dimensional vortex inducer! Oh. <laughs> Move and I can get it. I'll get it. It's gonna fall any second. 
No, duh. <laughs> Easy does it, ladies. Ron, we can't mess around here. That thing is gonna wipe out the entire state of Nevada. Sounds like this is man's work. <laughs> Uh-oh. So he is as dumb as he looks. This is not a problem for the new me. <laughs> but Ronald, there was nothing wrong with the old you. Okay, Rabbi, get out of my head. Ron, he's right. These instant muscles have got to go. It's not the real you. So many voices in my head. Ron, we're talking to you through a ventilation shaft. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Ooh, ooh. is so irritating. <laughs> I shut it off. Is that okay?